All right, Shalom. Brother Rock coming to you with another video. Before I move forward, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. A double shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth and truth and sincerity, regardless of whom here or forbears. All right. Esau, the so called white man, is pushing for the internet to be shut down. All right. YouTube is a major, major, major outlet that they cannot control which the Lord has created for the truth to go forth. All right. And so you see through the spirit that the Lord is, is, is moving swiftly on prophecy. So without further ado, we're going to jump right into the lesson. And Lord willing, be edifying to the hopeful elect. The book of Amos chapter 8 verse 11. It says, behold, the days of the Lord, Salakia, Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come. Saith the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Okay, now we know a famine is coming, a uh, famine of bread and a thirst for water. All right, but the scripture is speaking of a famine of the word. Okay, now what's the famine of the word? All right, this truth is going forth as, uh, on the internet, mainly in YouTube. Hey, it's going to be shut down. The men out there on the highways and byways, they, they go out there every week, week in, week out, all right, in season, out of season. They're not going to be on the streets anymore. All right? All this is coming soon, man. Now, there's an article just came out. It says YouTube to delete thousands of accounts after it bans supremacists, conspiracy theorists, and other harmful users. OK, we know Great Millstone. All right. And other and other um, Israelite camps that are pushing, you know, the truth, letting our people know that they're the Israelites, you know, and the ones that are letting people know that the RFID chip is the mark of the beast, you know, and certain of the prophecies. We fall under that umbrella. OK. And so, of course, these devils cannot control the Internet. They can't control the, the, the Internet media. OK. So, again. These things are coming forth, as the scriptures say. Amos 8 and 11. I'm going to read through. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Verse 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. It's going to come a point in time where it's going to be a, a thing called too damn late. All right. And our people are going to be looking for the truth. They're going to need answers. OK, look, martial law is coming. Race riot is, is, is being prepared. Right. Esau, the so-called white man, he's at the gun range consistently. He's buying um, he's buying uh, weapons. He's buying ammo. OK. And we know through the scriptures that Esau, his blessing, one of his blessings is a sword. All right. The RFID chip, which is a mark of the beast, is coming. Uh, the dollar is getting ready to crash. All right. The job market is getting ready to collapse. The, the economy is about to collapse here in America. OK. And these people are going to be looking for answers, seeking the men of the Lord. OK. So, again, Amos 8 and, 8 and 12, it says, and they shall wander from sea to sea. And from the north, even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. And so hey, the doors of 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 uh, mercy and grace is going to be shut, man. OK, you're not going to find a word come soon. OK, and that's why you got to get the word while you can now. OK, Aim, uh, Isaiah chapter 55, verse six, it says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. All right. How is the Lord found? The Lord is found is through, through his men. OK. The same way the Lord was found in the times of Noah. When Noah was out preaching the word for over 120 years. OK. The Lord was found then through his servant um, um, Noah. OK. The Lord was found through many other prophets that warned the uh, you children of Israel in ancient times. OK. And in these times, the Lord is being found through, through his men. 
as well. All right, start with the apostles, the elders, the great millstone on down. Okay, so Isaiah 55 and 6, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. So our people supposed to be seeking the Lord. Okay, this is supposed to be the top priority that our people need to be um, seeking before it's too late. It says, call ye upon him while he is near. And how do you call on the Lord? All right, if you don't know his name. Right. But you got to seek the, the men of the Lord to be able to get the names, get the breakdowns, understand the prophecies. OK. While he is found, while he is near. OK. And that's the main point I want to hit on that on that precept. OK. Another precept I want to bring out is uh, Amos chapter uh, five, verse four it says, for thus saith the Lord unto the house of Israel. All right. So the Lord is speaking to the house of Israel which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. It says, seek ye me and ye shall live. All right. The only way you're going to live is seeking the Lord and, and um, getting his word, man. All right. Because as the scriptures say, man, this, this, the wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. All right. Isaiah 33 and six and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. All right. If you want to live, you're going to need the wisdom and knowledge of, uh, of the true wisdom and knowledge, which is found in the Bible. And being broken down by the true teachers. All right. Again, starting with the apostles and elders, great millstone on down. See, the Lord is, if you fear the Lord, the Lord is going to, scripture say, fear is the beginning of knowledge and wisdom. All right. You fear the Lord and you go out there and seek, seek him. The Lord is going to um, dwell with you. He's going to, uh, he's going to open your penal glands to receive in the wisdom and knowledge. All right. So Isaiah 33 and 6, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. It's what times? The times is coming forth. All right. The times we in now and it's coming forth. People are bugging the hell out now. Much more will there be when the, when the economy crashes, when you can't spend um, $20 to get, a, uh, you know, food, to get a loaf of bread and, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, turkey or whatever to, to, to last you through through the week. All right. Because the dollar is going to crash. No jobs. Uh, opportunities okay race riots going on all right evil times pestilence um diseases at all-time high all right people gonna need answers man and the wisdom and knowledge of scriptures is what's gonna keep you stable is gonna keep you mentally uh on point man and spiritually on point it says and strength of salvation the fear of the lord is his treasure the fear of the lord is his treasure all right why is the fear of the lord his treasure because of Fear is the beginning of knowledge and wisdom, right? And you have to, you have to uh, treat that as such, as treasure, okay? Because you got to fear the Lord first to receive the wisdom and knowledge of these scriptures, all right? These are the times that's coming forth, man, all right? Brothers, videos are being flagged, all right? Um, you know, look, <laughs> matter of fact, let me bring out some more precepts, you know, because the scriptures tell you that, and, um, Proverbs 20 and 24 says, man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? All right. Look, these devils, the elites of the banking families, the ones because because the media is being controlled by um, these uh, media corporations that's being owned by um, Esau, the so-called white man, starting with the elite banking families. They own these uh, media outlets and they're controlling. Um, they they, they uh, can't can't have. They don't have too much control on YouTube, all right? With the truth going out, they can't control how strong and powerful that this truth is going out all through the power and spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shai, okay? But as the scriptures say, Proverbs 20 and 24, man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? The Lord is putting on the spirit of these devils to shut down the word, all right? To shut down YouTube so this word doesn't go out forth anymore. All right, because we're getting close to the final, the end times. Our salvation is nearer than we believe. Okay, so Esau is losing control. All right, and these are the times that we're coming forth. We're coming in. Um, and I'm gonna shut. I'm gonna shut down on one of these um, last precepts. One second, Salakia. All right. Book of Romans, chapter three, verse three. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith 
of the Most High without effect. See, a lot of people don't believe that this uh, internet is going to be shut down. A lot of people don't think YouTube is going to be shut down, right? People have been so um, so comfortable in this society and haven't thought about what's really going on, you know? Of course, they don't fear you about you know, shy, so they don't have the wisdom to understand, all right? So they don't believe that YouTube is going to be shut down. They actually believe that this is going to be the way of life forever, for generations upon generations, all right, but like the scriptures say, shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without a faith, without effect? Is that going to change the Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai's plans? The scriptures say, um, the Lord is bound by His word, and also says the Lord is not a man that He should lie. All right, and it also says His word shall not return unto Him void. The word says that their famine of word is going to happen. Okay, so you best believe it's going to happen. Verse 4, the Most High forbid. Yeah, let the Most High be true, but every man a liar. As it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings. And so the elect is being justified in the sayings of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? And mightest overcome when thou art judged. You know? And hey, look, we in the times, man. We in these times. We in some beautiful times. And this word is getting ready to be shut down come soon, man. All right? It's getting ready to be shut down come soon. That's a beautiful thing, man. All right. Um, you know, I'm just flowing through the spirit. You know, it's the book of Ezra, chapter 15, second Ezra, chapter 15, um, verse 4. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Again. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 4. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Because our people didn't want to get this word, all right, and this word is getting ready to be shut down, and they're not going to have any wisdom and knowledge to keep them stable in the times that's coming forth. The unfaithful, the ones that didn't believe, the ones that um, didn't stop to take time to listen to the men of the Lord or pass by the videos, you know, to watch a twerking video or a rap video. Okay, or whatever gossip stations that they're out there. All right, you're going to die in your unfaithfulness. You know, not taking heed to you. How about Shimei? I was shy. All right, so that's it. You know, I just want to bring out um, a few precepts, you know, letting letting our people know that the family of the word is coming soon. So with that being said, before I close out, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekakwadash. The honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible. And who rule well. And the double shallow womb taught the Akim out there pushing the truth. And truth and sincerity, regardless of whom here forbears. Shalom.